I think that I have one of the most fun jobs in the world because I get to do things like this. And my young children think I'm the coolest mom in the world because I get to spend time with people like Kayla. Like a Richard Simmons VHS tape mixed with like a Britney Spears music video. I feel like if I show you, you'll just get it more. All right, here we go. Just a minute and a half of your time. We have a party to plan, so we're gonna send out some invitations. So we're gonna step to the side. Okay, <laughs> oh, we've got company. Blow out all your candles, Angela. Woo! Yes. <laughs> that I can't do. <laughs> that was wonderful. I feel like our audience is really a, a widespread of range. We have all ages, all sizes, skin colors, sexual orientations. I think giving people that space where they can just be silly and feel free is, is really powerful. I mean, the thing that strikes me the most about Caleb's story, it, it's so core to what we tell brands to do when they're trying to connect with audiences, and that is to be authentic. And when I hear Caleb talking about why he does what he does, and that's the same essence of what we work with our clients to achieve is really understanding their purpose and the value that they can bring to others and the world and using that as the basis for how they behave um, in the marketplace and in advertising and the messages that they put forth. So I think there are direct parallels to Caleb and what he does and how a brand should behave in general, but also in social media. I started taking their suggestions people would notice and then they would comment on the next video and be like, oh my gosh, Caleb listens, he, he cares about what we think. And they really felt more invested and involved in the channel. And it wasn't just me giving them content, it was them helping me create content. The thing that our clients need the most right now is flexibility and agility and the right tone and the right way to connect with their customers. We are seeing an increased uh, purpose and an increased role for channels like YouTube because it offers the agility, it offers the flexibility, but it also offers that connection with customers and that relationship building in a way that might be hard for brands to figure out what it is that they should be saying right now or how they should be connecting with culture. We realize that what people really wanted to see was real life right now. They saw that even their favorite YouTuber was also stuck at home doing the same thing, working out in the same place that they were working out. So I think that it brought us even closer together and it's made the content that we create even more powerful because it's real. And that's what people desperately want right now is just for people to be themselves and be authentic and make them feel less alone. Before all of this started, over a year ago, we had started Project Green Screen, which was an initiative that we have with uh, YouTube across Dentsu uh, and Kara. And it, it, the whole purpose of that is to learn from um, from creators like Caleb on what the best practices are around creating content that builds that relationship with customers and how to reveal more of their own authenticity as you're doing in your apartment. Brands have to be a little bit, um, a little bit vulnerable in terms of what they're willing to share and who they're willing to be in that social space. Um, so that they can create that connection. So I, I think there are so many parallels between what Caleb is saying and uh, that he does as a creator and also what brands need to do to be relevant in this space.